cooler Oklahoma day. The weather went from 80 degrees to a blustery 55 today. Super cold, super windy. We're working in the barn today. Uh, I don't have my other GoPro. It's battery died. Um, today we're working on 336. Another baler. We're changing the uh, oil currently, servicing the gearbox. Um, this baler is another one of our hay balers. Actually, belongs to German Kinnaman. We use for our square bell operation. Changing some tensioners, some uh, tighten chains. Got a bent bar here on the feeder fork. Bearings are bad. Bushings, I mean. Uh, gears all look good. That one's pretty loose. This baler is actually good. It makes bales. That's wire ties. That's what we use here, mostly in Oklahoma. That's real loose. We'll take those off and get those ordered and get them changed. We had to do the same thing to ours, put new ones on it. Uh, the baler looks really good. It's in good shape. Uh, just needs some routine maintenance. Chances putting in a new shear pin. Right now, um, but we discussed with Jeremy yesterday, we're probably going to put a hydraulic uh, neck on this one like ours has. Uh, Jeremy bought this one used and um, so we're gonna try to update it a little bit. Uh, we looked at this pulley here. Seems pretty wobbly along with that one. May change both of those. Um, we gotta do some alignments here. That one actually sounds okay. Uh, other than that, the feeder house looks good. Only missing one tooth. Uh, this is all good here. Belts look good. We're just trying to get it ready for the field so we can um, bail with both of these at the same time in the field. Make it a little faster. The bail bandit picks them up pretty quick. Uh, we'll get some footage of using it when we get it out in the field and get it ready to go and test it. Um, it is back from the dealer, as I said in another video. We went to Illinois and picked it up in Pittsfield, Illinois, where they make them. Uh, they ran us through a little crash course on how to use it so we could try to not have to struggle in the field with it. It looks pretty simple. Uh, we've actually never used this one. one. Uh, but we need to grease this up so these will feed to the bale bandit and then uh, we can pick them up out of the field a lot easier. Um, handling bales, if you've come from the old days, chucked hand bales from the old days, picking them up, throwing them on trailers and then stacking them haylofts and that's horrible. So anyway, just a little uh, quick video on the new to us, well, new to Jeremy 336 that we're doing some work on.